Of this Dr. conference will now be yes, recorded. Yes, thank you. So good morning, all of you. I welcome to fifth day first session. Now I would like to invite uh, Dr. D. Lakshmi Madam to deliver his uh, presentation regarding this machine learning algorithms. Thank you, Madam. Thank you, Ma'am. Uh, today morning session is all about education 4.0 and emotional intelligence. The post lunch session is on um, two different topics, explainable AI and subsequently moral compression techniques. So it's going to become larger uh, duration of session with me. But however, four different topics I will be addressing today. Definitely you will be enjoying at least one or other session. So I can assure that uh, you will have a lot of visual treats also. So let me start sharing the screen. Then let us go one by one. First topic of discussion is education 4.0. So what is all about education 4.0? It is relevant to both for student and the uh, faculty. So future of education, how it is going to become, that is what all about our today's discussion. Hope so my uh, screen is also visible with the slide education 4.0 with one animated uh, figure. When any one of you kindly acknowledge me, my audio is comfortable and the visual is comfortable. The visual slide is education 4.0 kindly uh, text me either in the uh, terms of a chat or unmute yourself you can answer to me then i can proceed further any one of you please unmute yourself or you can use chat window i am looking at your chat window is the screen is visible any one of you kindly acknowledge visible yeah thank you thank you madam thank you. Yeah, let us, uh, yes, thank you. Now let us move forward. What is education 4.0? If any one of you heard of this word, any one of you aware of this word, yes or no, just I'm not even asking what is the definition or what is all about that. Yes or no question. So education 4.0, are you aware or not? You need to type yes or no. If you find difficulty, type uh, N, Y or N? No. Yeah, that's fine. You can type no, Y or no. Yeah, fine. No. Fantastic. So that's enough. So just I wanted to have a fair idea so that I can proceed with further. So what is all about education 4.0 is the suitability of education to the need of industry 4.0. So people are pronouncing it as 4.0 or industry 4.0 or education 4.0 4.0 there are different way people are pronouncing i'm not sure about which is right so let us stick to industry 4.0 uh, most of the industry guys tend to use 4.0 i used to say 4.0 because when is it is version version will be 0.0 only never uh, the alphabetical order so that i would address it about industry 4.0 so education 4.0 now, very first, whatever it is, education of first version, second version, third version, fourth version, even people are working on about fifth version also. So let it be. Fifth version is possible only when 5G, 5G technology, uh, you all know about we are started with 1G, 2G spectrum, 3G spectrum. Now we are almost, we are partially enjoying 4G spectrum. So 4G need to be upgraded to the 5g the moment 5g arrives only we can think of education 5.0 till then it is not at all possible impossible i can say that's fine whatever may be the transformation of education however may be the transformation of education we all the foundation is same what is teaching what is learning it is going to become same so we are all either teacher or learner so either we may be pursuing PhD, M.Tech, whatever, or B.Tech. If we are, uh, yeah, the participants are of either belongs to teacher community or learner community. We must know the definition of what exactly teaching, what exactly learning. Not the rote learning way definition, the exact way, what is the meaning of teaching and learning. First, I would like to start with learning. 
because every teacher is a learner learner is also a learner they also partially play a role of teacher whether they interact with your, their friends or in future they will be going for presentation whether the person is of industry they are academician they need to give presentation they need to groom others they need to teach other in the span of their lifetime definitely everyone will be a teacher so before that everyone will be a learner learning can be defined as a change in behavior what they are psychologist anthropologist brain specialist they say is learning is meant for change in behavior what is the change in behavior change upgradation of the knowledge upgradation of the skill upgradation of their aptitude attitude all together only not the way of telling the behavior means behave properly not in that behavior sense so change in behavior there must be change in their skill level or there must be change in their knowledge level or there must be their change in their aptitude change in their attitude all together only it is termed as change in behavior as a result of experience how change in behavior will happen we need to experience either we need to read and experience or we need to learn and experience or we need to listen to people and experience or we need to do things and experience reading also can make anyone to gain experience listening also can make anyone to gain experience and writing also can make anyone to experience by doing also can make anyone to become experience this is what learning so now let us go for teaching teaching includes all activities teaching has sphere of activities starting from curriculum setting syllabus preparation material preparation learning activity planning for learning activity classroom management classroom session delivery etc etc so many question paper setting and you can think of any number of activities it can be anything the number of activities can be one minute number of activities can be anything uh, uh, there is uh, there are member unmuted so i am trying to mute that's all okay finally to provide education through interaction the role of the teacher is to provide education through constant interaction either formal interaction informal interaction uh, face to face interaction or it can be uh, of uh, what to say online interaction in any mode of interaction learn finally teachers role is to making learners to stand on their own feet they should able to uh, survive for the bread and butter at least they should able to uh, live better they should able to start something better they should able to contribute something to the society that's all so this is what uh, the definition or the fulfillment of understanding learner and a teacher the role of learning the role of teaching so with that let me start so by the time people may arrive quickly so assuming that the people all would have joined today let us move towards the next this is what industry 4.0 what it's all about intelligent edge nodes everything automated look at here right now we can look at some of things automated i can say 20 especially i am talking about indian scenario we can say less than 20 percent only automated things are automated less than 20 percent that also i am putting in the greater percentage so 80 percent of stuff need to be automated industry 4.0 believes that at least one third of whatever the uh, industrial set, set up our business or education education is also industry this educational industry uh, for medical industry it, it um, be it any industry uh, they demand to be automated at least one third of their business setup one third of their industry that is called industrial automation smart industry cyber physical system machine to machine communication machine to human communication these all are the attempt people are aiming to fetch it towards industry 4.0 so now we all need to think about how we are going to fit in for the industry 4.0 that is all about education 4.0 education 4.0 is not only for teachers 
not only for students it's meant for both teachers and students so that's what we are going to talk about for another uh, uh, 45 minutes i can say subsequently we are touching upon the other uh, topic called <clears throat> emotional intelligence so if you look at universal analog input robotics and motion control condition based monitoring smart automation you, you, this picture itself robot and the cobot what is robot you all know there are several movies uh, you would have watched uh, uh, having robot that is for sure but what is all about cobot two different uh, robot working together as a team how human you and me work as a team you will be submitting a report or your project as a team and similarly i will be preparing a report as a team with my colleagues so we all work in a team as a human either as a teacher or as a student or sometimes we do project both combine the student and teacher also any competition we are going to submit or any kind of research also we will be doing together that all told us teamwork for the human similarly the machine or the robots together when it starts communicating working collaboratively that is called cobot multiple robots will work collaboratively the moment it starts working collaboratively it is termed as cobots so this is what the definition for robot and the cobot here i am pointing out this is where i am trying to explain so this robot and the cobot are going to be the future so now let us move on to the next step hope so what is industry 4.0 all about you can understand irrespective of the branch whether you belong to electronics or you belongs to electrical mechanical civil or computer science whatever may be everything need to be automated so finally i can see industry 4.0 demands the skill of computer literacy this we can say it is the era of computer industry 4.0 otherwise can be said as era of computing era of computing so far now other department we say that it is not my bread and butter i don't want i want to focus on the core i know only what is devices i know only what is machines mechanical people they will talk about machineries electronics people they will be talking about devices electrical guys they will be talking about electrical systems or grid system power systems but nowadays nothing can survive without these all so a what how it is going to become automated people are working it out figuring it out so slowly it is more the momentum has started industry 4.0 would have been postponed little later but because of this covid situation it speeded up because things need to work in remote, remotely or virtually things are becoming digitized because of this uh, social distancing or lockdown whatever may be the situation now the momentum picked up people expected it may start from 2021 but 2020 itself that inclination have come nowadays teachers are not teacher professors are not professor remote professors remote teacher remote officer remote chair we can call them as a remote chair remote officer means they are remotely connected with their uh, wards so this is what the first step we all uh, stepped in to this different paradigm we would have not thought that everything will go in virtual even yearly once uh, attending webinars both by the teacher or students may happen rarely yearly you may attend maybe five webinar five virtual workshop or five online presentation not more than that so that level we were now how it is happening face to face is happening only five times only for examination you guys are coming or for something submission or crucial activities you are all coming so this is what the scenario have changed similarly industry 4.0 no matter any moment it will be in front of us so now what is the thing we all need to be ready for suitable to this especially the momentum has started when you guys are graduated or presently those are all student teachers need to empower them for the suitability of the future now i'm not telling job skill they need to live they need to survive they need to lifelong travel so we need to empower them suitable to that uh, future so future is of this so we are only years going to become matter 2030 in education 5.0 industry 5.0 complete automation it is going to become so first 4.0 is attempted 3 by 4th of automation 
then subsequent version have not uh, defined so by the time it would be something different so this is what the set stage or tone for today's session understanding what is education 4.0 it is uh, by this time everything articulated uh, uh, in the previous slide itself uh, impacting education or learning by the learner or teachers anything suitable to the aligning ourself both the teachers and the students community aligning ourselves suitable to the need of fourth industrial revolution that's all nothing more so what is all about smart technology the moment we say smart technology artificial intelligence iot robotics uh, etc ar vr mixed reality these are all i will shortly address about cyber physical system things uh, machines are going to become automated or connected with the industry I mean, it's internet the moment it is connected with the internet it will start communicating with the cyber means internet physical means anything like it could be a human or animal or an object or a thing these starts communicating each other start having our sensation to each other so that is what cyber physical system otherwise we can call it as internet of things also interchangeable words only those two are research by mckinsey digital they are trying to figure it out 60 percent of all occupations could potentially have a at least a third of their activities automated so all the occupations are going to uh, that is what i said without percentage three by fourth i said at the 75 percent they are telling 60 percent so it is demanding they are going for automation nowadays you can uh, notice uh, google IBM, TCS, everybody announced work from home style. They accepted that how things can be automated, how things can be monitored, how uh, works are measured, how the uh, outputs or deliverables are measured, how it is quantified. So people are attempting for automating that also. Similarly, the moment we step into industry 4.0, everything need to be automated, shifting the focus from teaching to the learning in this education 4.0 not asking questioning about how good the teacher is teaching how good the teacher is making the students to learn that is what uh, uh, they are aiming for how good teacher is making students to learn this is the role of teacher what is the role of student you should not talk about how the teacher is teaching the teacher is teaching this good that good she is not right she is worst not all about how good you are learning how much you are learning this is what education 4.0 all about so it is towards learning focus learner focus the very first is called accelerated remote learning part of education for 4.0 uh, students may be thinking because of this corona only uh, teaching is going virtual i'm not interested i'm not suitable to this style even students are telling no it is not uh, we are not interested with this all we don't like this kind of teaching we are not able to understand they are telling we are raising their voice i do agree but future is of this only because the moment industry sets a benchmark 4.0 it's a kind of pride moment for them they have their own regulations bodies and uh, government uh, regulations uh, control forums they have so they are all uh, uh, percolated by them so every other uh, what to say the setup need to abide their regulations by the time everything is going to become automated so there is no point of uh, 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 corona or whatever so it was expected but slightly pre pond that much only we can say so the remote functionality everyone need to adapt adaptability is expected more from the teacher end more from the student end so the resistance no more it will work out if you say that i'm not capable of uh, learning from virtual i don't like this virtual teaching teacher is not doing well through virtual whatever teachers may be telling i doesn't like this mode of teaching I like only the way of traditional orthodox uh, way of teaching. The, met, the moment we all say, slowly we are away from these all uh, regulators. Slowly we will be out of the game. So that is the only caution I can say. So we need to adapt and we need to try. Not telling this and sitting aside, isolating ourselves. Never it will work out. 
so in future we it is unavoidable we all are bound to listen bound to undergo these kind of things that is for sure so it, this is the message i'm giving both for teachers community and the students community either of us we cannot tell but difficulty will be there because we are all transiting from our traditional mode to uh, this online mode any teacher the moment they look at the camera they will be afraid uh, you, you, uh, till today i'm retaining my first actually i can say that my first three videos i have deleted from my youtube channel but um uh, there uh, what is the problem i faced is something different uh, the very first video of just six minutes i'm retaining till data you just go and watch the quality of that video utter waste because the moment i started looking at the camera i became afraid i that that six minutes video also i have uh, taken four takes to five takes that fifth take only i felt satisfactory that fifth take only i started releasing that also the latest video of my own youtube channel you go and look around 135 videos i'm having go and look at the last video that gap we need to fill up it's a kind of friction we ourselves we feel friction within us so that i have conquered in the 2016 2015 itself my youtube channel started 2014 but uh, one year one view youtube video only i will release not more than that uh, all of a sudden one mood will come i'll sit and do one video and i will release that's all nothing more i will do uh, just i wanted to know how youtube is working out of that curiosity only i have started channel till date there is no big uh, uh, craze on my youtube channel it's a kind of pride I, it is another feather on my uh, cap that's all so i'm just keeping uh, kind of pride not for other focuses so that practice is required that friction will be there for everyone that is what the message i want me to say that four to five years 2016 now 20 how much i would have attempted through online i have conducted online sessions so those all made me to feel confident similarly for the students also you all tune to that kind of listening that all your cues cues means while learning lot of cues recovered the teacher's facial expression the teacher's way of uh, articulation the teacher's way of movement all together your brain started learning so that is the pattern your brain likes for but all of a sudden we are changing we, you, you may not even uh, see the face of the teacher nowadays uh, uh, face is essential uh, even though it is a uh, virtual teaching i recommend strongly we need to appeal at least with a decent amount of uh, appearance uh, we should have the ambience and we need to appear if not to the hundred percent at least first five minutes we need to address them through video at least when the emotional connect is record we need to switch on our camera this is a message i'm telling for the uh, teacher similarly students also whenever you are giving answer to your teachers you need to put on your camera so that is where we need to overcome all the frictions there are certain tricks even though it is virtual there are certain tricks without that trick you can't learn without that trick teacher cannot learn so those tricks we need to understand then it becomes comfortable so we the, we want we don't want to talk virtually we don't want to switch on our camera then nothing else will happen so through this ppt alone nothing else will happen so uh, we need to combine with the emotional connect also teacher also tries to attempt the emotional connect with the student the way of um, connecting with the students something they need to attempt similarly students also need to connect with the teachers so that that is where the excitement will come that is where the connectivity will come. The moment the connectedness happens, learning and teaching happens automatically. When there is no connectedness, everything will become waste. Just gadget is listening, gadget is presenting. Gadget to gadget communication only will happen. Or internet to internet communication. There is no human to human communication could exist. So that is the way we need to slightly change. What is this accelerated learning demands is this accelerated learning see like this we need to give you a cue we need to give visual cue we need to write or we need to give you a pointer or we need to ask questions either to teacher need to ask question or student need to ask questions that is where the thrive will have will be there in the online mode now this says that enable learning anytime anywhere 
nowadays that culture has come even we do have classes for students after five o'clock see since today i'm held up with this session i'll be postponing either i'll be handling classes by five to six or my own comfortable time so that level we reached as the e-learning tools anywhere as a e-learning tools e-learning tool is unavoidable and applications will provide opportunities for remote self-paced learning so every one of us we need to adapt remote learning and self-paced learning this is what the message given for education 4.0 the role of classrooms will change <clears throat> one minute again somebody unmuted <coughs> The role of classrooms will change wherein theoretical knowledge will be explained outside of the classroom. This we need to understand very well. The future of education, they say that students need to learn all the theoretical knowledge outside. Right now, this semester it is happening in our institution. <clears throat> all the theory, so far now we were connected with our students and we were teaching theory now students are invited to the institution only for this practical knowledge but this is not uh, appropriately we are doing but for the sake of uh, completing the syllabus only we are doing but what exactly this education 4.0 says is theoretical knowledge to be given remotely and through flipped learning need to be given technology enabled learning all the practical interaction clarifying doubts so far now uh, we need to address through uh, real-time face-to-face learning uh, classroom is not for giving the definition giving the example giving the application center not at all right now we are wasting both the productivity of teacher and the students through this kind of a small component of discussion very very tiny component all of us we know to read english then what is the need of defining what is motor what is electricity not required that is what they are demand maybe this all foundation one semester or two semesters first year we can impact not for all the time so all the theoretical knowledge need to be gained outside of the classroom when they step into the uh, inside of the classroom it has to become uh, practical or hands-on or activity based so that is what they mean to say now i switch over to the next presentation and again again i will come back to the same presentation so this i have prepared long back what what how about this should come exactly four years ago i was addressing that without knowing the terminology only i was speaking today the terminology everything has come they are telling education 4.0 those days i don't know what is the education 4.0 done so now let us start with this uh, understanding what is all about learning the knowledge in gaining the what is knowledge first of all we should understand knowledge is all about knowing things information facts and all the formula everything you know the moment if i ask you to write on the paper you will write the moment if i ask you to spell out uh, uh, through presentation you will do but there is no use of knowledge please understand knowledge certainly maybe academician they can uh, uh, talk about something they can earn and they can survive not for industrialist so knowledge is not at all uh, sufficient i mean to say knowledge is not required i am not telling next level of knowledge is demonstrable skill after this skill is capability ability so we need to connect transform the knowledge in terms of applications knowledge in terms of demonstration knowledge in terms of uh, uh, what to say skills it should become demonstrable skill it should become applied skill only then the knowledge become useful otherwise knowledge is not at all useful it is not at all considered to be an effective one or efficient one so now let us move on to <coughs> what is all about flipped learning so the very first so this is uh, uh, my uh, presentation which i have prepared long back this is prezi software so what is the advantage of prezi software is we can just click on the element that alone will be focused so now if i click on this element it will become zoomified 
so then we can organize aesthetically so just i want to give an awareness what is all about this software phrase software so this is one of the modern presentation software across the globe people are using this widely uh, almost you can read the article you just uh, type the internet ppts are outdated ppt is linear kind of presentation this is non linear see how within a minute how much dynamics i am applying so this is however it is preparation is time consuming and nowadays i don't use uh, those days i was free so i can use why digital learning we need to understand digital learning 21st century learners and educators are termed as digital learner the same is applicable for education 4.0 also if you look at uh, vedic or ancient education system i can say not vedic ancient education system subsequently those days people addressed and talked about philosophy why this uh, world looks like this how river is flowing where the water is coming out some kind of exploration people were very curious those days so it was totally philosophical mythological level then buddhist education system they have come they started transforming a lot of other stuff art something art dance we saw then sage on the stage a traditional teaching has come this is what a conventional teaching so this is called education 1.0 i have slide for that also i'll come back this is education 1.0 next this also printing revolution happened slowly independence of learning happened without a teacher people started learning something so then subsequently education 2.0 internet enabled teaching learning that i will address later then digital education now right now we are into completely digital education after lockdown earlier maybe partially now we are all 100% we are into digital education teachers you can't sit and prepare notes on paper impossible it is not record also people wants digital material people reads digital material that level we have reached so today's uh, learners are digital native so if you look at what is digital native this is a scenario father is asking hi sweetie to the daughter how was uh, school today you can read all about in my blog dot so blogs even school level kids started owning their own blogs because it's meant for free even youtube lot of uh, uh, kids are top earner of uh, youtubers top uh, even i can say millionaires if not billionaires millionaires of you youtubers are available so that level people reached so next is another uh, cartoon to the relevant to the today's society doctor is uh, doing mri scan showing to the patient your half of the brain is clogged with the clogged means uh, uh, completed um, messed up messed up with the password other half of your brain is messed up with your username so that level even i do have minimum for 50 account journal account rc id scopus account that uh, so many what not four gmail account i am having that out of four gmail two gmail two or ac.in edu.in ace ac.in edu.in not institution account please understand that is google account it is designed and meant for academics by the google 5 years ago or almost 10 years ago i can say google given free for entire institution nowadays google is giving 500 or 1000 mail id only free i don't know that exactly rest all we need to pay if you are running a larger institution you need to pay so this is what the scenario right now we all are having so next what are the phases of digital education digital education starts with selection of the material content you have different types of material you have different formats of material same topic i can teach through text same topic i can teach through voice same topic i can teach through picture same topic i can teach through animation same topic i can teach through video similarly for the learners also how you can learn you can read and reflect yourself every line you can read and think that is reflective learning next you can animation you can see something that is visual through visual you are uh, learning video multi dimensional multi channels are working and you can learn you can do something simulate you can virtual lab you can do and simulate that is called experiential learning if you look at especially after lockdown people are coming up with a lot of online platforms iot tinkercad uh cloud platform things uh, things speak lot of free uh, cloud platforms are available you can learn anything lot of electronic circuits you can learn simulated 
now the time people are exploring already exist a lot of uh, online software available for electronic circuit simulation no need of laboratory no need to buy a device no need to buy a component multimeter is available ammeter is available ohmmeter everything is available capacitor resistor you can plug and play you can supply the volt and you can see how it is working things are automated so that we need to select what we are working how we are working then we need to go for creating organizing archiving creating you know combining something we need to create uniquely or we need to offer see none of the slide is my own i have picked it from the internet i have collected over the period of time so everywhere i am creating now my own uh, uh, flavor i am creating that's all nothing more is of mine organizing archiving archiving means arranging things in a logical order some systematic order then communicating sustaining deleting storing annotating annotating means now here after although i am having slide i'm just doing the annotation i'm underlining this is called annotation for writing something giving meaning to the context giving cues visual cues or learning cues these all are annotation evaluating finally curation this is what much more important what is curation is it should be free from grammatical or english mistake it should be free from intellectual mistakes free from mistakes or error or bugs those all are called curated content when we uh, step into internet we need to be careful which are all curated content which we should learn which we should not learn that awareness we should have that's it so this is all about phases of digital learning so even teacher need to create material in this uh, fashion only so this is the way phases will work now merits there are plenty of merits M mainly it is called evidence based teaching learning practices everything is digitally recorded see what is the advantage the same session same ppt if i come and address in your institution annamacharya institute what will happen you may not uh, have high end camera you cannot record even though you record it not up to this much quality of audio and video you need to bring lot of setup you need to give me law lengthy wire or wireless mic for recording you need to put a battery so many things you need to do now the very first advantage i can say the moment we are stepping into online education everything is recorded pakka evidence is created today what i am speaking why i am speaking everything you people are recording now so this is evidence based teaching learning is first that is what achieved digitized suppose for example uh, uh, uh ec department is filing report to the aict the, you may conduct only one hour session as per norms i suppose to deliver a session for two hours i can wind up within one hour also but it is digitally recorded so they cannot produce the video and report for two hours so that is what evidence based teaching learning practices everything is um digitized so when it comes next benefit relevant and the contextual curriculum is possible otherwise if it is uh, not uh, digitized what is the if it is not digitized everything is printed people are just printing cast alone people are not changing the curriculum it's a fun part really because they they don't want to waste the resource even i agree see 100 booklet you will be printing why to waste then they it will be circulated to the students or all the stakeholder of the institution so if it is digitized periodically we can change every year at least we can change if not there are several deemed university they are changing the curriculum semester basis please understand where we are not only in, in india alone i am talking not only abroad semester wise people are changing we are changing four years once so that is where the limitation of the traditional curriculum comes into the picture next student voice and ownership now digital learning is completely students ownership see if you wish you can learn if you feel so it is not at all uh, capable to grasp it is your problem if it is traditional teacher only need to give spoon feeding and interact and come to your desk something those days are gone nowadays students ownership is important it is your duty to demand the teacher madam stop the presentation this slide i don't understand please repeat it once again or bring some other material 
it is your duty your responsibility that is called students ownership next collaboration why not digital also a lot of collaboration but we should become equipped with the digital tools and software so i know 80 to 100 tools which are all useful for digital teaching online teaching explored more than 100 i know that is where i started after the lockdown 1000 1000 workshops more than uh, three to five workshops 1000 1000 workshops i have conducted on teaching learning practices i can say proudly i can say probably before lockdown after lockdown also across india i have covered 10000 teachers enabling to use tool and software teaching tool and software teaching te uh, digital way of learning so that we know only we can collaborate otherwise we don't know how to collaborate that is another challenge that is where people may feel handicapped i am not able to collaborate the face to face learning only for useful for collaboration not at all digitally also we can collaborate so that uh, tactics we should know creativity is possible still in the digital uh, way of communication lot of creativity because the moment i get stuck up i can surf the internet immediately i can refer in front of you it is possible higher order thinking skill yes it is possible with the digital learning everything is possible but only the thing we should know how to use that is the final message i can say <clears throat> we should know digital tools education 4.0 also demands knowing digitally going digitally they should know digital usage next what is all about uh, education all related to education 4.0 only i'm talking that word may not be there but these all the stuff they are expecting t pack so this these are all the framework people coined 2007 itself what they are trying to tell is teaching learning practices encompass these are all the components technology knowledge is required for both teacher also students also it is for teacher pedagogical knowledge equivalent to this for the students frame framework is called t lack since this ppt i prepared for faculty i don't use for student uh, perspective t lack the same only here learning knowledge the way of learning first as a student or as a teacher also we should be aware of what mode of learning suits for our brain because brain everybody's brain is differently configured you and me are not same if you look alike same also you and me are not same i may be domineered with auditory signal anything which i hear may be remembered understood by my my brain you may be visually domineering person anything which you see only may be recorded in your brain there may be set of learner called reflective learner they will read and think and take decision only then the understanding will happen so there is buried there are people collaborative learning they should uh, be learning if there is a support somebody is sitting and telling criticizing or appreciating them or giving uh, uh, when they are going down low mood encouraging they need some support or when they don't know something somebody need to tell these are all called uh, collaborative learning so we need to first identify that is what i am telling t lac t lac is identifying your own learning knowledge nowadays now not nowadays most of the generation we are not aware of what mode of learning is suiting for us if that is our introspector then we can successfully learn things it is possible for anyone any time so that it is called t lac the knowledge of this is called t lac knowledge of pedagogy the way of teaching, way of handling students, way of counseling, way of mentoring, way of providing material. There are several styles available. Every word, what I'm telling, it is of ocean, it is of domain. So it is of uh, education is all about the combination of technology and psychology. Every educator should know psychology. So that is where we can become successful. Pedagogical knowledge. Next content, this is what the subject which you are studying. Introduction to electronics, introduction to microprocessor, introduction to electromagnetic theory, introduction to digital electronics. These are called content knowledge. So what content you are studying all about is content knowledge. 21st century demands three knowledge domain both for student also teacher also we should be aware of how to know the technology 
how many tools we know which is useful for teaching learning practices those all matter not only the way of teaching learning tool uh, virtual platforms suppose you are teaching iot tinkercad is a virtual platform please note down i will uh, text you in this the, any electronic student tinker tank uh, tinkercad one minute tinkercad so this is a software you can make use of it for any electronics component circuit connection with the coding with the sensors so many things you can do uh, sitting at home you can design at least 500 circuits i can say there are several motors they had given servo motor several motors also available in net a lot of circuits available so that kind of knowledge we should have so technology without spending money normally your know, electronic space used to take excuse you know, i am interested to know i am interested to design lot of circuit but i don't have money my institution is not supporting my father is not giving money like that a lot of excuse but the thing is ignorance we are not exploring what are all the alternatives available plenty of softwares i am telling one such software tinkercad similarly lot of softwares lab view so many softwares available you can imitate entire hardware component as such like a physical component that tinkercad has arduino kit if you want to go and purchase arduino kit minimum 3000 rupees you need to spend with the arduino kit you can't do anything you need to buy a wire you need to buy a sensor you need to buy a led or you need to buy a, uh, other circuits multimeter ammeter ohm something you need to buy otherwise you can't do anything why to waste money we can explore with this we can learn from this so that is what all about i'm telling technology knowledge we should be aware of there is a lot of avenues lot of channels lot of paths are available we are not aware of that ignorant of that so always taking excuses so that only i'm telling digital knowledge or technology knowledge so with that tpa framework is over let us move on to the yeah what is content knowledge all about we should know this is what teacher how to give a knowledge of chemistry to the students what class exercise how much creative examples need to be given how careful explanation need to be given all together combining these all together is a way of teaching this is what pedagogical content knowledge how we are teaching to that particular topic is also a matter so this encompasses a lot of uh, uh, other matrices common content knowledge this is for students both for students and teachers commonly knowing about that subject a fair idea having fair idea if i ask about what is digital electronics if you tell about very roughly telling five component if you are telling p n diode if you say few diodes few transistors that's all next is horizontal content knowledge how much you know horizontally the uh breadth of the subject how much you know specialized content knowledge depth vertical rooted knowledge of content and the students this is for students knowledge of content and the teaching knowledge of content and the curriculum how this subject is connected to all other subject this minimum that courtesy both the teacher and students should have so how each and every subject is connected to all other subject what relationship it exist so that is where it comes into the picture so next uh, point of discussion content knowledge let's move on to the next knowledge subsequently pedagogical knowledge so this is for teachers meant for teachers how to create a uh, context content is uh, right content will not create any effect unless otherwise we create a right context relevant context so this context creation only makes teachers to become uh, successfully connecting with the students or not the right context the moment uh, he or she creates immediately they can connect with the students easily evaluation action reflection experience these all we need to take care we need to give the learning experience we need to make them to reflect we need to create lot of activities or actions we need to put them in actions we need to evaluate all students these all termed are in terms of pedagogical knowledge pedagogy means teaching to the kids 
but i don't know why across india people are using pedagogy it is meant for it is called as andragogy andra means adult teaching to adult we are all teaching to the adult age students so it should become andragogy but more or less people are using pedagogy but it is written uh, in the educational science like that technological knowledge we should know how to use gadget we should know how to use software tool software resources all together it is called technological knowledge so this is what all about tpac framework model one minute uh, oh, i have come back types of digital learning within that how many learning signs evolved you just to look at digital learning is a broad category in which it is called flipped learning blender learning e-learning or m learning these all part of blender learning superset is blender learning these two guys are one and two these two guys are child of blender learning what is all about let us try to understand <coughs> flipped learning one minute a wrong tool i have chosen what is all about flipped learning this is a word or this terminology or this theme this philosophy coined by salman khan not the actor salman khan khan academy founder <coughs> he is the person coined and said this philosophy for his own online platform khan academy you would have experienced khan academy this is especially famous for k12 what is k12 is 12th standard uh, college uh, k1 is first standard abroad they used to call k1 to k12 so this is meant for up to k12 school level education they will synthesize every smaller topic with audio material with text material with the problem solution it is a kind of lms free open to both teachers also students also so he have conceived this idea for his uh, platform in order to promote or uh, set the stage to the world <clears throat> the very first university flipped learning adapted is 2016 by uh, mef university istanbul they have published a paper research paper uh, regarding this uh, academic practices this is what the story behind flipped learning let us understand what is all about flipped learning flipped learning all about traditional method lecturer is lecturing or lecturer will occupy most of the time only he will be talking or he will be asking some question randomly or he will be conducting a small activity rarely this is what lecturing <clears throat> traditional approach all the homework assignments all the projects everything shifted to home that is where copy culture evolved in india that the people what they say is we need to flip teacher need to prepare the material that material should sit in their gadget before coming to the class students need to learn that then during the class only interaction student student interaction student teacher interaction only activity they need to do homework not homework here class work they need to solve problems let us see what and all they can do class shortly so classroom is meant for different purpose classroom earlier is meant for giving definition give a spoon feeling only content transformation nothing more is uh, possible in the traditional lecture so what is possible with this let us uh, look into shortly not now <clears throat> finally it should become engaged blended strategy is only possible what is blended strategy they need to remotely teach or they need to learn from the gadget then when they come to classroom only activity should happen so with this it is possible to have lot of wonders both for the teachers and for the students it is possible to achieve a lot so uh, one minute flipped learning will give amazing educational possibilities only then lot of innovation will happen otherwise a mundane task teacher will be coming and uh, transforming what is definition transforming what is example transforming what is this that formula writing that's all never we are thinking of application level both by the teachers also and the students also i'm telling system is like that i cannot uh, say teachers also wrong students also wrong uh, the executive body is wrong 
that is where national education policy is going to come next year the reformation in the higher level itself is going to happen aict ugc the apex board structure itself going to happen slowly things will align pillars what are all the pillars inside the classroom let us see flipped classroom outside of the class what they can do you can just read outside of the class they can learn from video tutorial they can learn from simulations and games inside the class they need to do project group or individual problem solving peer based learning activities that is what they are trying to say remember understand apply bloom's taxonomy every students should start learning in the remember level you should not stop yourself at the remember level itself nothing it is going to helpful for your life please understand nobody in the industry for testing your vocabulary skill or your uh, by hoarding skill they will give you a job you need to understand you need to apply at least if you reach these two level only you can survive in the society otherwise we all will be thrown away next these three level should happen outside the classroom that is what blooms this uh, flipped classroom advises all of us then what we need to do in, inside the classroom you need to go for another level analyzing level together with your friends and your teachers or anyone evaluating level you should be able to evaluate you you ohms law we are all trying to study ohms law but how it is applied on mixi anyone is thinking of that no we are using mixi jar at home how that the mixi is functioning how the ohms law is connected to this so you need to sit and evaluate for the product basis create level you should be in the position to create some devices some algorithm some software some product so this is the kind of brainstorming interaction uh, kind of uh, intervention should happen inside the class coaching to the students select activity assess these are all those stuff for ultimate purpose you would have understood remembering now in the class teachers are doing how to remember five keyword that is what they are sitting and doing then they are making you to understand something rarely happens how to apply things that's all no one we are raising to this level so that is what they are trying to eradicate through uh, education 4.0 this all need to be revamped absolutely to be revamped so now let us move on to the next slide hope so what is uh, flipped classroom you would have understood so next what is the role of teacher and uh, student in the education 4.0 create a video lecture share with students your duty students to be watch lecture prepare questions for the teacher what to be asked why you are not understanding that you all need to work on that is what self responsibility you are responsible for your learning teacher is not responsible for your learning even though you think that teacher is responsible throughout life teacher will not come with you facilitate and discuss in the classroom teacher need to enable students to think and discuss think and talk that's all these two talk is not to chit chat talking on technology answer students questions this is what teachers do students role is what in the classroom asking question participating in all the activities and demanding teachers to help for solving that particular stuff you need to demand teachers to teach teacher may not able to understand what is your need so it's your responsibility to demand teacher so now at the home you need to create content in classroom activity look at here in the low, all the lower order thinking skill should develop outside the classroom all the higher order thinking skill should happen in the classroom that is what they mean to say see look at here flexible environment flipped learning and education 4.0 learning culture what is learning culture the moment you step into institution your mind should revolve towards learning towards knowledge towards skills not on uh, focus on boys or girls or gossiping or uh, fun making then life gone then intentional content what we need to uh, focus relevant professional educators so these are all the pillars of um, what to say flipped learning next 
look at this also before class students should be responsible for learning remember understand that teacher need to support provide the guidance provide the material during class apply analyze after the class evaluate and create so these are all the stuff they need to take care now uh, let us move on to the next slide one more almost we have spent flipped learning the big picture so all in one whatever we discuss now all in one what and all we can do in the classroom in class activity see teacher can conduct think pair share small group activity students presentation playing students recorded video so we can correct them how they need to do why they are committing mistake that all <coughs> in the classroom enables problem solving skill all the time what is a sad part is happening in india is both school level also college institution level also while learning mathematics they are not exploring where it is used how it is useful that is where engineering science technology becoming handicapped what is science what is engineering what is technology this itself we need to talk about a lot no one is aware of difference between csc and it they don't know <clears throat> there are a lot of sad parties available uh, that is not the part today let us move on to this so in the classroom teacher and the student should work towards how to understand the mathematics that is what the role in the classroom similarly in the classroom teacher need to provide guidance clarify students doubts provide feedback where they are good where they are wrong how they need to improve that is what teachers role in the classroom they need to carry out this is what the kind of education it is expected they need to teacher need to enable learners to think in the higher order level if they need to enable students towards effective questioning what who when where how effective questioning skill need to be inculcated even students need to come out with your own way designing and prototyping in a college students and teachers are expected to do lot of design and product laboratory experiments in depth project based learning these are all those stuff expected document analysis peer review or auditing by the teacher why it is wrong why it is right these are all the stuff to teacher need to spend in the time nowadays we are correcting the paper just we are distributing that also we are not distributing a representative will go and distribute that level we reach there what to do because most of the administrative task is demanded by the teacher that i will also address how education 4.0 going to address we need to put our students in the brainstorming collaborative discussion on real time example and applications this is what education 4.0 expects let us move on to the next uh, topic of discussion i don't know how much i need to go for i will look at and uh, take decision <coughs> next few stuff we need to understand blender learning when it comes blender learning it's a kind of these all together it is termed as blender learning face to face virtual webinar links simulation assessment one on one coaching all together are partially some are uh, some are all face to face and online together when we are working on it is termed as blender learning <clears throat> types look at blender learning it is a rotation model face to face online driver enriched virtual model flexible learning model you just uh, have a look at it by this time you will have a complete understanding blender learning is what face to face field trip lab physical classroom attending online classes coaching mentoring collaboration in the community through this you can collaborate portal blog wiki chat there are plenty more software it is picked up from internet whatever it shows i am following multimedia video streaming podcast what is podcast is there are several things happening across the globe every topic you have free podcast what is the meaning of podcast is without even having the slide people will articulate such a way that you can understand the topic just you can listen through uh, your headphone while uh, walking jog you can do gymnastic exercise also but you can listen to podcast it is possible traveling gardening cooking it is possible you can download podcast for lot of subjects you can listen 
distance learning, CD or DVD or internet. Next is web-based learning. Anything you learn from the website through web-based learning, then performance support. These are all the combination of Blender learning. <clears throat> there is one more stuff, I guess. E-learning and everything. That's all. With this, we stop. The traditional classroom teaching, e-learning and mobile learning. Anything which you attempt through mobile, uh, this e mobile learning, anything which you attempt through your uh, electronic gadgets, either laptop or PC or tab, this all, uh, term as e-learning. Uh, then everything has its own uh, uh, exact classification or exact way of understanding definitions. That let us not to worry right now. One minute. Yeah, uh, with that, I'm stopping at uh, this presentation because the rest all uh, uh, is meant for teachers. Since you both are there, I wanted to give what exactly I wanted to feed for the today's audiences. That's why I'm slightly on mute. Okay, I'm not able to arrange. Okay, let us move back to the next uh, point of discussion because very exact 4.0 what it is demanding to the higher uh, pedestrian we haven't touched upon see integrated multidisciplinary curriculum what expected for the uh, education 4.0 project based learning skill based learning communication enabling communication entrepreneurship skills community services mostly it is demanding right emotion adaptability so these are all those uh, stuff they are expecting into the curriculum so nowadays it is available but patches it is not perfectly we are doing partially 10 member may be here 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 oh every student need to be part of this if you are uh, interested please go and look at israel education system they are following exactly this during their school level itself, they are supposed to run a business. They're supposed to show the profit and the, the complete uh, business peer cycle is real. This is one of the best education system. The deeper understanding of the concept, both by the teacher and learner, Finland. Finland is another education system everyone should be able to read and understand. If you look at Finland, in India, IAS cadre level of knowledge is expected from the teacher. Salary is paid highest to the teachers in Finland. So uh, complete 100% free for Finland citizens for education. They made 100% education free. The quality is, all, is also maintained across the globe. Finland education is the number one education system declared. But I like the Israel education system, then Korean education system, just explore Japanese education system everywhere they are doing this all already we are just talking today that's all now what is resilient higher education system uh, educa higher education should become resilient it should be uh, suitable for uh, uh, their uh, lifelong survival students will come out after four years they need to live yeah the moment the students pass out from the institution after all 21 years old they need to live at least for another 40 years, not in the terms of living, uh, professional living, I'm telling. So they need to live for another 40 years in the profession. That should be suitable for them. That level we need to make them to, not for placement, survival of uh, their entire life. For that, we need to debunk long-held orthodox in the traditional academic model. We are all tuned and comfortable to the orthodox model that won't work out build a digital ready institution this is a culture of the person i'm telling this is digital institution level reinvent the student experience develop multi-stakeholder system we need to include uh, business uh, entrepreneurs industrialists to teach and coach to success the set curriculum a traditional teacher may not able to do everything yes of course where the content is need to be taken from the teacher need to be taken other we need to higher orthodox single specialization what is orthodox we will say that i am electronics guy i don't know what is print and the input also that days are gone multidisciplinary we should be good enough in knowing about other branch some extent 
child risk redressal so next is centralized risk strategy fixed curriculum here holistic development then we need to keep on change changing flexible to the suitability of the need and demand of the industry digital ready institution uh, institution should have smart device or bring device your own that should become mandatory next is ar we are enabled uh, teaching analytics based teaching so this is what uh, the future uh, going to become education 4.0 enterprise wide te technology strategy prioritize faculty upskilling leveraging data to drive decisions something need to be taken care right now the moment we migrate now certain things we need to do that i no need to mention we all uh, understand if you don't know we will ask for uh, skill enabling somehow it will be into that students should be given to this kind of experience face to face collaboration one on one coaching and mentoring virtual classrooms e learning platform some proportion need to be figured out for these four component of learning <coughs> Next thing, multi-stakeholder ecosystem, corporate, organization, government, academia, individual, business entrepreneurs, all need to drive the subject or need to uh, play a role into the part of education. Knowledge, skill, ability, trilemma. So this is what we need to figure it out. Knowledge is, yes, given. Everybody we have knowledge recently. Skill is the matter. That is where uh, going wrong. Knowing about certain thing but not able to do. Not able to comfort. Uh, even though you do not able to present. Not able to uh, take it to the next level. This all called ability. So now it's a time to develop this kind of skill. Competency. What is competency is not comparing with anyone. Comparing with our own self. How I was yesterday, how I am today, how I need to be tomorrow. So shaping and developing, focusing on individuals, effort and skill is termed as competency. So now leadership of future, what is expected from everyone who say it as I'm the leader. So these are all those um, Attributes are expected, integrity, innovation, honesty, active listening, self-confidence, visionary. So this, the moment I address about this slide, it will become soft skill. So time will not be sufficient today. Strong communication, delegation, just text savvy. So we should become technically enabled. Learning agility. We should be in the need of learning continuously. One time learning, never it will work out in the future. So this is what learning ability. So if we look at the future is of Internet of Things, so how things are automated, how things are going, you can understand from this one single slide how the future is going to become. Now only we are coming to the point of discussion today. Industry 1.0, those days they were thinking of uh, uh, the machines mechanization, mass production, 2.0, 3.0, electronics and IT, education, industry 4.0, addresses these all, system integration, simulation, IoT, cyber physical system, cyber security, cloud computing, big data, additive manufacturing, augmented reality, 3D printing, if at all you are civil, for you the future is 3D printing, smart construction, it is going to become smart construction, so with enabled sensor, you need to deploy a sensor in your buildings. So that is how the future is going to become. So now we'll see 21st century. The century is also mentioned here. So next, if you look at the job avenues for the digitization, every one of us should be able to read uh, this Gartner report. So you look at this. This is These guys are predicting every five years which technology will become upcoming. You, you just search the internet the Gartner report. Everyone, academician, learner should be aware of Gartner report. So that is where we can understand the global scenario. So the, through this report only, we can able to justify. What is education 4.0? 1.0 started with the lecturing and the memorization. 
education 2.0 internet enabled learning 3.0 right now we are on the 3.0 education producing knowledge this is what uh, we are doing right now we need to transform we need to elevate to the next level education 4.0 producing innovation that is called absolutely suitable definition for this education 5.0 you will be confused what is education 5.0 yes it is there higher order cognition socio-economic skill education academic intelligence that is called education 5.0 after uh, internet uh, uh, wi-fi 5g only it is possible not uh, earlier before it is possible practice intelligent practice of acquiring academic intelligence solving problem constructing thinking critically justifying claim mm -hmm. communicating all the above this is what uh, they are expecting those days uh, slowly what is education 5.0 i will address slowly now now i am stepping into education 5.0 already it is existing AI and ml is meant for education 4.0 next slide is education 5.0 look at administrative tasks going to become automated people are all the agitech companies started developing intelligent tutoring system ITS so the moment the intelligent tutoring system already functioning but uh, most of the institution resisting to buy because of the cost involved and the maintenance involved intelligent tutoring system smart content creation if you look at smart content creation you will be surprised there are softwares available uh, neetx learning cream 101 uh, i'm not sure whether it is licensed or free what it does is if you give you a book if you give a chapter to the software it will give you a summarization it will give you a flashcards it will give you a list of vocabulary what and all with the meaning what is flashcard a small piece of information need to be focused by the brain or the student in order to learn thoroughly on that topic so these are all those stuff the softwares are available right now so already these softwares are in performance further people are going to refine going to bring out smart content what is smart content you just explore it is amazing you can uh, invest a lot of time on it i myself given definition but if you want to know more you can adaptive learning pace of learning needs or needs can be fixed in the software every student it will behave differently same intelligent tutoring system will behave differently for every student that is suitability of the learning slow learner something feeble learner there are learners available it will adjust it will identify and it will adjust to the need of students automated grader going to come there is no more role for the teachers to sit and grade wasting time so chatbot lot of chatbots are going to become you know what is chatbot if you go to many websites immediately one chat window will pop up they will be hi how are you i am daniel here what do you want me no something like that they will it will come this is not the human it is a bot a enabled bot similarly chatbots are going to become for every subject already it has been attempted it is worked and it is available i am bringing that story shortly data accumulation uh, we need to provide a lot of data accumulation chat campus so connecting the campus and enabling people to think together chat campus is going to come recommendation system intelligent tutoring system it will recommend if you are reading this topic what topic need to be studied next automatically it will recommend so what you need to know further it will give recommendation personalized learning every individual needs will be tracked and it will be adjusted proctoring yes it is possible to monitor through software virtual facilitator yes it is possible to create virtual facilitators through software i mean to say not by you and me right now i am virtual facilitator not in that fashion so through software it is possible to create virtual facilitators for the students ai tutors are going to come up it is already in existence because of cost of hires only uh, there are few developer country there are few people are using ai tutors so this is what going to become future ai tutors look at here integrating education with the ai and the machine learning is going to happen near future near future i'm telling you, not even more than two of years i'm expecting 48 months before that everything will be uh, changing if you look at there are tutoring programs already available mathematics writing for teaching to the students 
software will teach software tries to understand why this guy is not understanding what method i can attempt next to make the guy to understand that level software has been developed but these all are available up to k2 level or school level k5 level k5 level education.com you just go and explore education.com this is suitable up to 8th standard up to 8th standard they have brought lot of stuff amazing several artificial intelligence things are behind of this uh, so platform education.com so the way this platform teaches sir uh, mathematics the way this platform teaches science uh, you and me cannot even imagine the way it teaches mathematics we you and me language also you and me cannot imagine just go and see the software you will come to know so no matter it will be brought to the higher education sphere at any moment internet of things it will uh, transform the classroom also it will adjust the visual experiential cues so many things going to become lot of grading software is going to be become it will give the weightage it will give uh, unbiased and fairer evaluation will happen uh, in the real time teacher one part is biased evaluation another part is teachers are wasted time into this mundane activity so next if you look at ibm watson jill this is a ibm product they are uh, giving the software for any intelligent product development already indian origin professor ashok goyal at georgia tech university he have created virtual assistants using artificial intelligence to teach artificial intelligence it became successful this is one story you can now uh, explore you please look at artificial intelligence what is ibm watson's jill humanoid robot look at here there is a robot teaching along with the teacher bangalore there is one school attempted popularly teachers are teaching along with the robot i forgot on the school name yeah yeah one year ago exactly viral video it has come i watched a video also i read that also you please explore uh, city only i know bangalore already one school is uh, doing uh, co teacher robotic becomes co teacher this tutor this robotic tutor is personalized to this guy suitable to this guy already um uh, robot ai tutors are available for differently enabled disabled student differently disabled autism hearing impaired lot of ai enabled softwares recently i attended race conducted by ministry of electronics five days virtual event race 2020 there lot of submission has come for a tutor for autism children so this is the robot attempted as a learner being a robot how it is differently learning from a real time learner so these are all those research happening across the world it's going on it is existing not uh, the animated or what to say morph picture and done there is i don't know anything to morph so what is happening through research paper through articles only i'm bringing robot teacher robot professor future is going to become robot teacher robot professor if you want to know more you read you watch this video already one robot is to the highest existence to the higher higher education also if you wish you can buy also for your institution they are ready to sell general publication also they made the individualized education program nao how to pronounce i don't know this is that robot so very attractive this robot everybody attracting it seems a lot of human emotion it is trying to produce through smiling it seems this is a height original robot i am bringing this features specifications what 20 language it can able to speak this robot can answer in 20 different languages so it has human like behavior friendly attitude it can create content it can teach if suitable to the students it, it can try attempting in several methodology how many i don't know if it, you suppose for example you are trying to learn ohms law it will start teaching to you if you are not able to understand you can give the cue to this robot then it will try teaching you in different methodology so that level it reached this is a robot they are promising it is useful for primary secondary higher education even for research education even for specialized education also it suits so that uh, declaration they are giving 
so you, if you wish uh, this all you can explore role of teachers then for future how it would be what is the role of teacher teachers role is to supplement a lesson need to manage robot need to manage track uh, the collaboration how it is happening with the uh, robot and teacher where it is not possible to handled by the robot teacher need to address as a students struggling students need to be taken care by teacher this is what hands on experience teacher need to provide so this is what the future role of teacher next evolution of the employee this is what evolution we need to be ready for work any time work anywhere use any device focused on output outcome create our own ladder customized work shares information can become a leader relies on collaboration technologies adaptive learning demo democratize learning and teaching this is what the future is going to become with that note i'm concluding this topic i request thank you so much for listening wish you all success i will be back in 5 minutes of break i would like to continue with the emotional intelligence that i would be addressing within half an hour that is uh, sufficient this is where uh, a technical topic uh, please bear with me for another uh, half an hour so i wanted to have minimum 4 minutes of break with that i'll connect with you all uh, i'll be back in 4 minutes so meanwhile if you have any questions you can post there hello sir
Welcome back to the next session. Are you there or? Uh, yeah, many left, around 25 members. What happened? Anyone is there or gadget only there? Ma'am, you are audible, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I'm just pulling participants, whether they are there or not. Okay. Vanilla okay. ma'am is there. Fine. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Wow. Yeah, good. So many are there. Super. Then we can continue. So this is a, a kind of uh, joint topic, so nothing to worry. It is not all about uh, serious or uh, oh, this kind of topic. So what is emotional intelligence? This is what I think it is animation. Why it is not animating? Uh, uh, now only it is animating. Several animation not uh, uh, animated. In the earlier slide also, around three to four uh, slides, I couldn't notice that animated. Yeah. Uh, I need to mute all. Someone is unmuted and uh, creating disturbance. Yeah, that's fine. <clears throat> so, what is all about emotional intelligence? Radiating love, peace, empathy, harmony. That's all our role. Every one of us need to take a resolution that am I radiating love to my uh, circumstances, peace? Am I creating a peace or I am empathetic? What is empathetic? It is different from sympathy. Understanding them in their position, putting ourselves, then taking decision. Harmony. So how much harmony, peace, all are interrelated more or less. I am not a vocabulary teacher also. So this is what our core purpose of doing. Yeah, when we click on the slide only, it is animated. After that, it is not animated. Yeah, this is what emotional intelligence. Every one of us knows what is emotional intelligence. But doing that, practicing that, and uh, radiating that is a challenge. None of you are new to this word or vocabulary. At least I can say education 4.0. Most of you will be free. Some of you would have heard. Some of you may be knowing. That's all. But this, everyone knows. Part being a good human that's all after all now for that the very first mantra for having good ambience being a responsible citizen the very first is coexistence i would like to know from you what is the meaning of coexistence every word has meaning that is different how do we perceive how do we take into our head is next matter so that only makes to understand the word. Just by looking at the word, nobody can transform. That word should go to our blood, inject the meaning. Only then it will become actualized. It will become performed. So now I would like to know what is coexistence. Any one of you know about it? You can unmute or you can use a chat window. Come on, what is coexistence? No. No answer? No answer also? No answer you can give now? <laughs> coexistence. Yeah, I'll. Very nice. Live in peace with others also. Very good. Thank you, Nandisha, sir. So, coexistence. You are technically and uh, uh, what to say? Other. Uh, uh, skillful topic also you are interactive very nice uh, you are uh, one of the active participant I'm glad there are few you are one among all very nice now coexistence living peacefully allowing others to live peacefully that is called coexistence that's all we need to live peacefully we need to allow others to live peacefully that's all so when this mantra is violated only all the conflict comes when we practice coexistence principle only then we will get cooperation from the people with well, the cooperation once we get only we can think of collaboration so this is what mantra for life three c's of life so every moment even at home if you are living peacefully allowing others to live peacefully 
they will be supporting you a lot if you are into conflict quarrelsome and not respecting your elders something like that means nobody will cooperate so for the essence of success first we need to emotional intelligence is meant for success only so the first mantra for success is coexistence we need to live peacefully because out of uh, peaceful or positive emotion our productivity will, will be doubled the way we do it will become efficient and effective in the negative emotion anything we do definitely that would end up with uh, some negativity so that we need to first follow coexistence natural people will cooperate us next collaboration <coughs> subsequently there are few things we need to hear longer duration i may spend again somebody is unmuting there is no audio also so anything which we do or access uh, achieve in our life brain is the base brain is the medium for emotion medium for uh, uh, cognition cognition is related to thinking and emotion so what parietal occipital temporal frontal these are all the major lobes there in our brain there is a limbic system that controls emotion of every per human being how our emotion is arrived that has some uh, processing in our brain depending upon that it will be reflected so physical it is a physical medium brain is a only organ intelligent organ all other organs are having intelligence bio intelligence this is the only organ controls other organs and having intelligence so we need to regulate we need to know about something related to brain it is worth for every one of us investing some time knowing about brain thought is based on our brain brain configuration physical is a medium for thought from the thought we can either destroy or we can develop we can create or destroy so that is in our thought only not in our hand in our thought then learning learning inclination is the key for success how much we are learning how we are learning learning can happen from book learning can happen from human next is intelligence intelligence we need to develop over the period if you look at there is a famous intelligence theory gardner's multiple intelligence theory gardner so howard gardner he developed multiple intelligence theory if you look at he Space. We need to identify our own intelligence. Several intelligence: visual-spatial intelligence, mathematical intelligence, linguistic intelligence, interpersonal intelligence, intrapersonal intelligence, naturalistic, naturalistic intelligence, uh, musical intelligence, and he says that existential intelligence or ethical intelligence. How? What are all the other stuff for our existence? We should know the intelligence. So. we need to identify our own intelligence that is where we can become successful identifying our own intelligences based on our learn thought learning inclination and intelligence only every one's personality or attitude is formed based on these all only our aptitude what is aptitude we know only technical aptitude anything related to our subject which we know that is aptitude if you are good at <coughs> digital electronics you have good aptitude in it. that's all so that is aptitude so next all together raises to a knowledge level everyone's knowledge is dependent on their own thought process learning inclination intelligence attitude aptitude based on these all only our own intelligence how third thought is transformed to emo emotion so if you look at start something you or me we are seeing say when pick a friend so it goes to the memory pick an emotion card act it out so this is what this is what it happens finally it comes here to the spot so it has something so the perception only makes any one to go wrong in the emotion so whether you are looking at the situation as a friend or as a enemy controversial or uh, the alignment is happening that makes anyone to behave properly or wrongly 
what is all about emotional intelligence managing different types of emo emotions we need to understand which emotion will be productive which emotion will be helpful for the society or for the circumstances and regulating and exhibiting the right emotion to the ambience look at here feelings could talk so if we look at this slide if feelings could talk how it will talk sadness it will talk through crying sadness is exhibited loneliness expecting the connection shamefulness expecting self compassion resentment anything which feel um, guilt that expects forgiveness emptiness it expects something to create anger when it comes anger boundary the person who has lot of boundary has anger and psyche every way every emotion has polarity and expectation two different emotions placed together happiness all of a sudden anger will come you will be in the happy moment there is a situation will come and that would lead to different emotion already you will be in sad happiness will come this situation will be different already you will be in sad anger will come then it would be different so there are several emotional spectrum psychologist works out i can say to my knowledge 300 plus emotions are there so 300 plus emotions how it comes is this previous what is your state of mind present what you are feeling combining these two it will exhibit <coughs> what should i do with my life we need to have this question what will i not bored with we need to identify when we will not be bored the boredom is a main cause for anybody's life so we need to identify some task without to be bored most important what is the most important things in our life we need to identify where i am helping people whether we are helpful to the society or the family, someone at least we should be helpful in a day. So if these three principles we have, naturally your emotion will be regulated, you will be worthful per person. Bad reasons to do anything. Why uh, we were, what are all the reasons to do anything? Not a good thing, anything. To be famous, to make money, this was easy method, to meet girls or boys, personal agenda. Because my dad is so and so i want to be the same so there are a lot of excuses for us to deviate from the right path what is all about emotional intelligence what, what why it is helpful why people are talking about emotional intelligence if you look at the corporate every corporate this uh, session is certain uh, given all the corporate employee emotional intelligence sessions are given you can verify decreased occupational stress increased personal well-being if you are emotionally intelligent we only will become benefited than others increased leadership ability no conflict the environment will be very peaceful rhythm harmony so people will be functioning properly team performance will be improved decision making will be improved so these are all the benefit when we are intelligent what is intelligent emotion? any conflict situation goes by the time how we are stable is a question mark so by the time how do we manage that is where emotional intelligence will play a role see how this emotion comes emotion plus perception these two together biological process of the brain happens the moment if you look at a snake then immediately body state is changed perception of body changes fear arises if we look at the rain Im immediately we perceive rainy season means cold will come that perception will lead to naturally cold so we are only putting boundaries for every situation every scenario so that makes everyone anyone to bound to take some emotion look at anger we see on the top beneath tip of the iceberg is anger but underneath what are all the person may be afraid, 
the person may be pressurized, the person may be humiliated, the person may be worried or controlled. These all, any one or combination of these all would lead to angerness. So every one of us should have these four intelligences, physical intelligence. What is good for physical body? What is not good? That awareness we should have. What we should eat? How we need to have lifestyle habit? Our habit need to be regulated. Mental intelligence. So that is where emotional intelligence, mental well-being. We need to take care of mental well-being. So the moment we are in the well-being level, definitely intelligence is more. Ultimately, irrespective of the religion, connecting with the higher purpose, higher consciousness, that is called spiritual intelligence. Let us move on to the next quickly. So look at negative energy, positive energy. We have another 10 minutes I will wind up. I just walk through the slide with the one one sentence of talking. What are all negative energy? What are all positive energy? So you look at the negative energy will make the tree to become, tree to become dry. And the positive energy will be flourished. So always natural law of expression. Every law has polarity. Love and the conscious is a positive polarity. Fear and unconscious is a negative polarity. Knowledge is acceptance of truth. Ignorance is refusal of truth. So every uh, emotion, if you take it, has polarity. Freedom and control. Next, we look at when emotional thing will go wrong. Projecting my own insecurities on others. That will lead to conflict situation. Desperately holding on to my plans. Pulling others to come to our plan. Still holding on to the past. Past something would have wrong, happened wrong with the person. So that holding in our mind and again creating uh, situations or conflict. In a, especially this is happening in personal life. Personal life, one minute. Personal life, most of the time what we will do. We will hold the past. We will tell, you were shouting at me you know, that day. So I will take care of you today. I know how to deal with you like that. We will behave. Self-limiting beliefs. Always we limit ourselves. We should not look at this. We should not learn this. Self-limiting. The need for constant validation. Always we will be validating something. Fear of uncertainty. <coughs> Every one of us we have fear of uncertainty. But how much we should have is a question. So if we have too much of fear on uncertainty, future or anything, that will lead to wrong emotion. So there is uh, a famous... Uh, uh, this is called pseudo-scientific uh, experimentation. Uh, Masaru Yamato, the, you can look at the internet also. Masaru Yamato is a Japanese person. He did experiment to understand the emotion. Pseudo-experiment. Scientifically, we cannot prove. Doing like this, uh, something only we can prove. That is pseudo-experiment. What he did is, he started taking a glass full of water, tumbler full of water. So that water, we started... Utter, kept keeping in different rooms tumbler full of water. He started uttering to that tumbler full of water these kind of words. Compassion, thank you, wisdom, truth. We read that all words. So he started talking that all words to that water and he made that water to be there for a couple of days. Then he started crystallizing ice cube, like keeping it in the uh, fridge, freezer. So after crystallization, he started looking into the microscopic lens. This is a kind of structure formed. Look at in our body, how many liters of blood is going. We are, uh, what to say, we are living, um, I can say some percentage, I'm not sure exactly, I don't want to say wrong percentage of water. Our body filled with some percentage of water. So we are injected with that amount of water in the form of uh, blood. So how much intoxication we will be injecting to our body is the introspection we need to do. So this is what the texture formed in sense. He did, there is other uh, um, experiment out of his curiosity, contaminated water, sewage water. We will say no, sewage water, uh, toilet water, whatever, that water he have taken. That water he started using the negative word and the positive word. Although the water is contaminated water, negative words are giving this structure. If you look at this structure, this itself will make us to feel scary. So that is what. If you look at this structure, 
it makes us to feel something harmony so that is what uh, he invented he produced to the world so thoughts are having powerful words are powerful so everything has its own cause and effect like that carl and he says that thinking is difficult that's why people mostly judge quickly they will judge without even thinking that is where conflict comes why this guy is telling like this why this guy is behaving like this he was all right today only he is uh, behaving wrong so maybe something wrong would have happened so that something like that they need to think so the only then it is possible to avoid the conflict without thinking thinking judgment is happening that is where problem comes so look at attitude is based on feeling belief actions so these three together only makes anyone to act behave in a different pattern different manner so how the person believes about something suppose if uh, if you look at there are persons the moment my emotional intelligence started they left the session they believe that you know, what is there in this uh, slide what she is going to talk i know that uh, all about emotional intelligence yes they will leave immediately there are people although i know let me see what she is telling it's a kind of uh, uh, time for introspection although i know now i can listen i can introspect the person who believes they are staying back so it's all belief system to take decision so next feelings actions so all together only attitude is decided so one's attitude is depending upon this one see look at here from the above slide that a japanese experiment if you look at especially at home women should play a crucial role with the positive emotion that is where the family well being will be there while cooking how much water the person is touching how much food item the person is touching if the person cooks with the positive emotion definitely the appearance taste and the aroma of the food will be different if the person touches the food with the negative emotion it would be different so every person's works of life it is helpful to deal with emotional intelligence although we talk about uh, it is useful for profession mainly it is useful for personal well being emotional intelligence for that first self awareness self management we should be aware of when we are going wrong why we are going wrong how we are going wrong that about ourselves we should be very very clearly we need to have picture similarly we can go for managing adaptability we need to adapt to the situation only then this can be avoided social awareness relationship management we should become cordial uh, words we should use cordial way we need to behave with people to win the heart so these are all the few mantras to become emotionally intelligence so the, if you look at this slide maslow's motivation theory uh, this is modern motivation theory they are trying to tell biological physical need one person starts working working hard for first biological physical need then the person will be working for safety need then the person will be working for long and love and the belonging need if you look at these generation students are directly working for love and belonging need because they are fulfilled with this all need by their parents because of being single child or two child most of their biological physiological safety needs are fulfilled by their parents so suddenly they will uh, go to here suddenly they will long for this either uh, facebook friends linkedin friends whatsapp friend instagram friends so that is where uh, the culture is going people cannot understand why maslow said clearly this need based on the need only people will function so today's need is directly belonging need love need so they are into that we should not be stagnant at this place we need to work for our own self esteem how good i need to be self esteem only will make the person to become better so this is where the self motivation self determination comes we need to think for our own achievement our own laurel our own contribution our own value unless otherwise we work for our values nothing will happen so we need to think of our own success our own famous self actualization once your self is fulfilled then you will be thinking for others 
how best i can help for the society how best i can uplift my nation how best i can uplift my family so we we'll think of this so for this is the motivation success story uh, you can th take it as a fun also or serious also this is modern motivation theory i have seen in the linkedin i have taken this pic <coughs> nowadays your needs are internet wifi one gadget power this level we reached now our needs are for the safety needs we need to be careful with google, google every social media watching you 100 percent your data is available unless otherwise the time is uh, knocking the door they will not touch the moment anything need to be traced about you by the government by anyone immediately 24 hours enough or at the worst case one month enough every pinpoint data about our behavior in the social media will be there nowadays for the job people are looking at your social media post and your attitude that level uh, the industry also had gone belonging need do you whatsapp instagram facebook they are preferring esteem need twitter self-actualization linkedin i like it i like linkedin that is where professional connection is possible professional people are uh, sharing the professional material i can say my primary source of knowledge is linkedin today i can say proudly the secondary source of knowledge google and youtube then nowadays i stopped reading textbooks or any other books all the books i stopped reading by the age of my 35 to 36 or something like that after that no book i am reading only this all only i am watching so if you look at why every generation behaves differently that is where another conflict comes greatest silent generation when those who have born this year years born here greatest are silent generation 28 to 45 baby boomer generation those who born i belong to x generation millennial generation today those who are all attending these are all termed as not a, a gen z alone available you are all termed as alpha generation every generation oh my god uh, every generation characteristics are different belief system is different attitude is different thinking process is different their sentiment is different that is where one generation to another generation while we are working the conflict rises we need to understand each other's gen generation sentiment that is where we can avoid the conflict so just i wanted to bring the awareness that's all the thing so these are all the intelligence if i talk about this alone it would take 10 minutes let me quickly go through iq serial processing you can learn anything intellectual stuff serially bit by bit only you can learn left brain not left brain is left side hemisphere this is possible to develop only through learning no other option so in this intelligence once if you are cure you will be called as encyclopedia emotional intelligence to short form this will happen parallelly that Madam, is your uh, voice is uh, not audible voice is not audible how about others the same way only i am doing nothing more i am doing anyone else let me put up my video so that the internet bandwidth will be more anyone no, no, audible. audible okay fine audible, audible. thank you so please check your internet connection also sir yeah parallel processing this is right brain self regulation is the mantra for success this will enable social skill you can win the people's heart you will be socially influential person that's all you will have a lot of friends connections network that is the benefit together only we can achieve a lot than individual then spiritual intelligence let me stop that so this is the mother of all other intelligence i can say i believe that it's my belief system what is your belief system you can do the substitute for this is psychology the science of psychology if you are not believing this you can understand learn about the people think about people this is people knowledge is about psychology look at here 2020 what they are telling is adaptability quotient you need to adapt 
yourself quickly to the change of the environment that is called aq nowadays no eq at all emotional question nobody bothers adaptability question not even emotional intelligence adaptability intelligence only people are expecting how quickly we are adapting to the change in situation change in paradigm that is where the importance comes this is one of the western theory glenn's holistic thinking pyramid basic thinking critical thinking reflective thinking creative thinking interpretive thinking what is all about is if you ask question what that is related to critical thing basic is very basic you know about me i know about you you know about to zoom go to meeting that all basic thinking reflective thinking the moment you ask for why question you started reflective thinking any topic which you study you need to connect with the why question how question that is where the research starts how question only research you should be able to connect things together today tomorrow and yesterday only then you can think holistically so look at here success of the life who are on success they how what they have the habit triangle of success or iceberg of success if you look at everywhere staying healthy sacrificing good habit focus growth mindset this i will be addressing shortly but uh, already we are running out of time i may not find the time to complete it uh, we need to avoid sleepless a lot of hard work should go meeting targets determination so these are all those stuff makes one to become success without that nobody will be successful so we so if we look at anxious what are all the emotion cause for being anxious these are all the emotion embarrassed these are all the emotions for embarrassed cause for embarrassed hurt these are all the emotions hurt we need to go beyond that is what emotional intelligence yes it will happen without that uh, not possible but how we overcome this all sad you need to fill up your umbrella of words emotional agility you need to fill up you need to fix your emotion your character your attitude only then you will become successful because nobody else can fix your emotion you are the boss for your emotion you are happy let us fix with the happiness okay best practice kimbuts so this is israel community they will uh, have one good practice they will start gathering at one place kimbuts so you can explore uh, they will adapt somebody else child one day they somebody's child will be child of himself so they will be uh, teaching whatever the knowledge they have whatever uh, the knowledge they have whatever is my screen is visible i did something it is going different way yeah thank you uh, kim good sir so they will be teaching their own emotion their own knowledge to the at uh, somebody's kid so they should every one they need to take somebody else kid for one day they need to bring whatever they know about uh, uh, the knowledge or emotion so this is what survival relationship plus mm -hmm. mm -hmm. seven levels of not visible okay uh, that is some that is what uh, i was asking something gone wrong one minute yeah that's all where i want to concentrate i am just uh, with, this is important slide uh, growth mindset so never ever we should think that i don't have intelligence i don't have communication skill my father is from this background i don't want to be like this so limiting belief limiting character we need to come out we need to believe that i don't know today let it be why not tomorrow why not next month why not next year that belief system we should have we should think that if not today it will come to us for example if you don't know coding it won't come for me rather than you believe that today let me learn small piece of information tomorrow let me learn something else better so always we should have growth mindset this is a popular psychology theory across the globe you can explore carl eng already about that psychologist i have uh, put one slide so he is a scientist carl dweck carl dweck is a scientist in brought this theory mindset fixed mindset always they will have negative beliefs growth mindset 
they will try to change their character also they will be trying to change their intelligence also incremental theory slowly they will work and they will transform they will go to the next successful level so that is where this mindset comes closing the door is different believing and waiting for something to happen is different so we are the responsible for shaping ourselves we need to shape we need to nurture our thought we need to shape ourselves for shaping ourselves thought is matter not like uh, this uh, sculpture we need to nurture our thought so that nurturing only will make us to become successful so now always ego hurts self also others also soulfully we need to live soulfully when we live the person who lives selfly serves others inner authenticity the person has they will be a gift to the society gift to the people they will <coughs> preserve others they will look at things inward in inward internally they will be feeling connected they will be eternal they will be blissful they will be centered towards love wisdom they will be centered towards wisdom is much more higher picture than intelligence wisdom is bigger picture they will enjoy the journey they will not feel frustrated talking or preparing slide and all cause of healing they will be living wholefully that's all positivity always creates good hormone you can read about dopamine also when you are in the good mood you will be secreted with the dopamine so always we can achieve with the good emotional intelligence a team work look at it. in how much over the hurdle you can cross the hurdle with the support of the team always you need to have a good team your learning partner study partner intelligent partners you should have so there are so much slide so finally law of attraction with this one boy uh, word uh, let me conclude you need to think that i am powerful you need to think that my desires to manifest so every one of our thought is powerful it will be uh, five minutes it will be manifested invented so i create happiness and abundance so look at here yeah, these are all the things never we should during especially our prayer we should not use the disease name we should not use any negative word especially during the prayer we should be very careful two dimensional thought our frequency need to penetrate the multi dimensional universe that's all the moment our two dimensional thought is penetrated with the multi dimensional thought uh, multi dimensional sphere you can understand the frequency theory that's all every thought has a frequency and resonance until it penetrates with the universe it will not be answered the moment it penetrates it will be answered both for positivity and negativity so we need to be careful it is like uh, emotion or thought is like a kind of giving knife to the child so that a, a child is killing himself or herself or killing others is a matter that's all so we need to be careful with our thoughts every thoughts are responded every thoughts are answered each and every thought is answered by the universe Universe is listening to us, so we need to give this. I am happy, healthy, wealthy, worthy, helpful, humble, blessed, thankful, grateful, unique. We need to annotate these kind of things in our body, in our thought process. Only then we will become empowered and powerful. So one uh, courageous, I am courageous. Uh, one more uh, message I wanted to tell quickly. Go through. See, finally, for our success, what is helpful is. how we speak is important and our body language is important not your word your vocabulary skill is not at all required how please pleasing we are appearing in front of the people that is where the facial reaction hand movements head movements eye movements body contact how good we are presenting ourselves is matter how do we speak is a matter please concentrate on these two try to change your body language look at the mirror mirror is the best guide for you to shape yourself especially full size mirror if you don't have buy it and keep watching you so this is the way we can groom ourselves finally i cannot say these are eight pillars of success you should have right belief right habit right resource right mindset right goal you need to set the goal goal only makes you to become something otherwise you will feel bored and vacuum you will not have anything to work up. motivation emotion strength resources we should access resource constant, constantly for our success this resource we need to pick based on the goal 
goal may be different one of you may be waiting for then so much slide is there let me pick very flip what the last slide that's all this is my last definitely last so i just recommend a couple of movies for lifetime transmission the secret this is a movie i started watching in the year 2006 lot of things changed in my life i am literally seeing what are all the changes what are all the success knocking my door and i may not be biggest successful person but i feel that every 5 years i am climbing the success ladder much better so that this is a movie my life changing movie is this this is a documentary film it is available recently telugu version is also available people are telling it is available in tamil hindi and english you just uh, type this in the internet you will get it is freely available next up uh, this is tamil movie positive parenting how to be a good parent satai a role model teacher this is also tamil movie tare samin uh, zamin par this is hindi movie this is also role model teacher dead poet society this is english movie heart winning teacher so these are all few movies uh, uh, soulfully if you watch there is a possibility of transformation in our life definitely it is possible so well, these are all the 15 books everyone must read in our the secret look at it across the globe that movie is in the secret the equivalent book ronda by so this is the book he is a director of that movie also so this is these are all few stuff we need to polish ourselves otherwise never if we look at gold or diamond unless otherwise it is polished or processed nothing will happen uh, nothing will happen there is no growth in it so we need to polish ourselves for that lot of uh, rupture we need to undergo lot of pain we need to undergo reading the book is painful only i know so we need to undergo we need to change and we need to take it forward so with that thank you once again thank you one and all let me stop at this point i think it's more than sufficient for morning those so that with that i thank you all for your active participation if you have any question any kind of stuff to be communicated you are welcome to communicate right now for another 2 3 minutes rest all you can leave if you don't have anything to be communicated with that note i am concluding the morning session after our session is all about technical thank you madam thank you to the session we had to learn about the session wow nagpur sir sir you are very nice you have given very big comment topics feel me to think and explore myself please share this information i do want to plan a brainstorming session to my colleagues and students with your permission by exploring all these essential contents delivered by you thank you yeah sure sir sure i will give you don't worry yes very good sir nagpur sir uh, I, i am quenched at least couple of people are listening uh, couple of people are gaining out of it so that my wish is fulfilled if not all couple of members need to take it forward few seats are enough to build many plants so at least i find that from this group i can find some seats for nurturing others yeah anything else anyone want to communicate yes if there is no let us wind up i also leave from the session have a nice lunch take care thank you all bye all thank you yeah bye bye